Hey, what's up, guys? Rich here, taking a look at Pikmin 3. I'm here with Sam and Jose. Hey. And Hello. We're actually going to specifically look at Bingo Battle, and uh, Sam and Jose are going to beat the crap out of each other. We're probably going to do about a best of three. The matches are actually pretty quick, so if you guys want to go ahead and start this up. This is a split screen combat mode in Pikmin 3. It's new to Pikmin 3. Mm -hmm. It's yep. not in other Pikmins, although there might have been some kind of co-op in Pikmin 2. That's right. So your basic objective here, you see on the right and left, there are two different bingo cards, and you're trying to, you know, basically get bingo, like you would in a normal bingo game. However, this time you're collecting fruit, enemy bodies, that sort of thing, carry them back to your little onions, and uh, attempt to collect four in a row, basically. Yeah. Um, so stages unlock progressively. Uh, we've already played a couple different matches, so we're going to go to the Stagnant Sea. There's a few different options, too. You can even turn on what's basically the equivalent of Capture the Flag, and if, you know, Jose grabs uh, Sam's flag from his base, he'll and it's get it back. It's not a flag, though. It's a... Macaroon. Yeah, it's, a, it's a macaroon. macaroon. It's a yeah. macaroon. Yeah. But uh, if you get it back to your... If you get your opponent's macaroon, take it back to your base. So we're win. not playing that way, but it would yeah. normally appear, like, under your base right So what there. you can see is, on the left, you've got Sam. On the right, you've got Jose. They each start with a small batch of Pikmin, and they actually have some other Pikmin spread throughout this map. Oh, yeah. Now... Typically, they could actually put the gamepad between the two of them so they can kind of have a reference Just, just point. so we're clear, my controller was not working for the first couple seconds. There, <laughs> okay. But now it's working. Excuses, now he, now good, excuses. No, so okay. um, I'm actually holding the gamepad so I can kind of keep an eye on what's going on from sort of a high level point yeah, of view. Yeah, the gamepad has a map this entire Yeah, it time. basically has a map. I can see both what uh, both Sam and Jose are doing as well as the location of a lot of the objects that are on both of their bingo cards. Um, something to keep in mind is some some of the objects uh, in the level only occur once. So like, for example, you'll see a lime on both of their bingo cards, and by the way, both of their bingo cards are unique. That lime might only exist in once in the map. So if Sam gets it, Jose cannot, and that could potentially thwart what Jose is trying to do. So. Obviously, you see and, them. And some of the things are not just pickups, right? They're enemies. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. So, like, for example, you can see on Jose's card, the red one in the upper right hand corner, there's a giant bulb orb, you know. So, you got to fight that guy, you got to kill him, and you got to bring him back. Um, yeah. And I think it's kind of interesting because um, the bulb orb is placed on a corner. Yeah. And that's, like, one of the most desirable spots. And so. You know, yep. Conceivably, you'd, you'd want to get that. Yeah, and I mean, the, and and what's tricky about that is actually in the corner for both of you guys is you know you actually have to fight something, you actually have to kill something, um, which is time spent you know away from you know attacking your opponent. So I just got a something. cherry, Rich. Yeah. So the cherries, and they're actually called something slightly different in this game because they have weird names for all the fruit. Upper left hand corner, you can see that spinner going. Sam just got a cherry, which gives him a random ability that he can activate with the D pad, uh, pressing down on it. And there's all sorts of different abilities. The one that Sam has is actually some sort of bomb that he's able to pick up. And I believe we have actually we actually haven't tested it entirely, but it's he can transport it around. And I think he's able to lob it at his enemy like a grenade. There's also uh, other types of bombs. There's lightning strikes. There's meteors. Um, all to go for stuff. this persimmon. And it can be completely devastating to your opponent. So. Uh, Pikmin can also attack each other. Uh, you can get into giant wars. So now you actually can see Jose marching up over near Sam's Pikmin, and he might actually try and uh, start some uh, start some fighting here. Some monkey business. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But it looks like bit. Sam's uh, Sam's Pikmin are having none of that actually. Oh, no, there they go. Put there that go. down. They so they're Progress attacking halted. me too. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you actually right next to on each side you'll see uh, Jose is actually playing as Olimar. And I believe Sam is Alf, but next to them they've got that little green dial next to them, and that's actually their health there. Um, which it's not helping anybody, is it? Then we got a whole I'm trying, bunch of I'm trying. Died. Jose, are those all your picking that are dying right now? I think so. Uh, actually. Reinforcements! Actually, I think those might be Sam's. Take that, Sam. So. Oh you man, so we're on, right by his base, Jose's he's got an advantage. He has a marble that's outlined in white. That means he's already taken one item back to his base. Um, Sam uh -oh. has absolutely Retreat. nothing. Sam actually has no Pikmin in his squad right now. Oh, his Pikmin are running off there. Uh, that's that's obviously one of the, the But the Pikmin difficult. tend to want to like take out the, uh, the, yeah. the enemies in the area. Yep, actually, so, I mean, it looks like two of your guys are still... Yeah, they're still fighting even though yeah, I don't want them to. Yeah. There so, I mean, as usual with most of the, you know, Pikmin, it just happens in story ah, mode, too. And, and they get on you, which yeah. is so annoying. Actually, I think, you, I think that was Jose's. I just threw into the water. Yeah, yeah it was mine. Yeah. 
All right, so now, Jose, what are you trying to do? What are you uh, I'm to trying to right figure now? out, well, I either need a blue marble or a red, uh, what is it, an apple? Yeah, so yeah, I'm looking apple. around to try okay. and pick up and see what I can find. So can you point me in a direction? If you're going apple, you want to head to your left and straight down south, basically. Okay. Oh, uh, this <laughs> big. Oh, no. Straight. I should have attacked this guy. Straight Hang down on. To your right. Crap. Past the orange. All right, I'm giving up on this I just lost a bunch of guys. Sam, what are you trying to go for here? See, normally they could see the gamepad, but because I'm trying to keep an eye on everything that's going on. One thing to keep in mind about Bingo Battle is the maps are actually pretty small. Um, their camps are actually pretty close to each other. Um, this the, the formation of this map is actually three small little islands, uh, each with a bridge connecting the three, and then with just a whole bunch of water, which is why, you you know, obviously you have the blue Pikmin to start with because they can actually enter water. So, like, Jose has ditched some of his Pikmin in my area, and it's been like an endless battle to get my Pikmin to ignore them. <laughs> they just constantly are like, we gotta kill this guy! <laughs> yeah, that was by accident. That was not by design. So, Rich, while we're going back and forth here, why don't you share some impressions on maybe the different control schemes and what, what you know, yeah, so how they sort of, of work. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Keza, who reviewed the game uh, over in the UK, was actually noting that she felt like the, uh, the gamepad gives you a distinct advantage because you have the map right in your hands. You can see what's going on. And I can certainly see that, but actually the control on the gamepad is uh, pretty different. Um, it, you know, it's a lot like what you, you're used to with old Pikmin games. Um, but once you played with the Wii Remote, which allows you very precise aiming, um, although with your, Jose, your reticule was all over the place. Hey, Rich, where's the orange? Some, the orange. Sam, the orange is to your left, and Jose is actually right on top of it, and Ho Jose is gotcha. actually getting it right now. What, Sam? What you gonna do? Yeah, Jose is actually taking the orange back back. And then, I mean, that actually speaks to a great point is, you know, if Jose gets away with this orange, that's something that Sam can't do. And that'll actually kill Sam's hope for a bingo. And actually, Jose even took back the uh, little floater jellyfish guy. And you can see on Jose's card on the left-hand side, bottom, you'll see something X'd out there. And that's because Jose took it. And so Sam can't have that. And so you'll see the same... On the red card, there's two flashing sort of at X's out on the lemon in the upper left. And what I believe is a tomato in the lower right. Um, so Jose's now trying to get a blue marble. Yep, you read my mind. And Help me out. Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam actually would be wise to get blue marble as well. We'll see what happens. I'm not helping you. All right, so I just let's see, let's see who Let's see who takes this out. It's actually interesting. This match has gone on. Oh, Sam spotted it. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, All right, I got to find that. So that. Now, actually, what's interesting here is Sam, the marble oh. is actually stuck in the ground a little bit. So his Pikmin actually have to dig this thing out a bit before they can actually begin to move it. And he's got a sleeping bulb orb really close to him, um, which if that were to wake up, that would be a huge problem for him. Yeah. Um, well, Sam, you also still have around, your man. ability that you could summon in. It's a yeah, so that's down sort. on the D-pad. I still don't really understand what it does. Yeah, so it's it's some sort of grenade. I know your Pikmin can pick it up. It's exact use. I have not seen that in the main game, which is pretty much what I'm playing right now. Right. Um, you guys will have to bear with us. Like, we just got the game, uh, was it yesterday, guys, I think? That's right, yeah. Before. Um, and most of us are still kind of making our way through the story mode, so Bingo Battle is relatively new. I've played it at, at Reinforcements. in previous events. Yeah, so now we've got basically just this giant Pikmin war as these guys try and fight it over in blue mar marble. That'll give Sam a key tactical advantage because then he has two really great options for bingo. Uh, sort of down on the left hand side and then across on the upper left. And then Jose basically needs it to get really, really close to getting a bingo, but then the battle will begin for this crab guy. And the crab beasties are actually not easy to deal with. Um, Jose, you should try and summon that grenade. Yeah, I'm trying to get my Pikmin back because where, where we're under is. attack right now. If you get the grenade, you will blow up his Pikmin. There it is. So get a guy to pick that up and then just go lob it at the, his... Ooh, pick, his, pick that up, pick that up. <laughs> no, just try and lob that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I, oh, that was oh, horrible. So that actually looks like it. Yeah, it's a proximity. Yeah, problem. and it was terribly placed. Yep, yep. Yes, for it all was. to see. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, so the well, so I placed two next to it, but Sam I didn't see what it did. Sam, hit down on your D-pad again. Ooh, okay. I got hit by Sam's bomb. There you go. 
Huh. So Sam just summoned a lightning storm. Again, each ability, it looks like on, on upper left-hand corner of your screen, you'll see a little five there. It looks like it'll summon five extra Pikmin. I'm missing Sam. some Pikmin. Rich, you want to help out with that? I'm missing Sam, a lot of Pikmin. <laughs> so Sam, it looks like you've got a bunch of Pikmin at Jose's base, which are is kind of... No, that, that's got to be Jose's Pikmin. Another blue dots. Yeah, They're that's blue, that's right? Sam. So yeah, it should be. I've got zero of 21 in my squad it's right now. crab time. Oh, no, okay, Jose, those yeah. are yours. So actually what's kind of interesting here is at least on the gamepad, all Pikmin are represented by blue dots, and you can't actually tell who's or who's. Okay. Um, which is kind of a clever way of not giving either of you, you know, overwhelming Dude, this crab advantage. is very, very angry. Yeah, and the crab is actually a key item for both of you guys. That'll get Sam, that'll give you three in a row. And it's just down to a ball. Yeah, board. which means I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you are, because you lost that blue marble fight, which means that ruined you, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> that it's true. Is it's really true. bad. I mean, Jose, your only hope right now is uh, you got to get, like, the apple, or the, the lime would help you out a lot, actually. Uh, the lime's in the water. That. And Sam is <laughs> building up an army right now. Yeah, Sam's got Sam's got quite a bit of army. That's that's one of the things I found when I was playing uh, Bingo Battle earlier. Give um, it a spin. You got something cool. Yeah, I don't know where he's. So I don't know if you're looking on the right side of the screen, but I'm basically trying to make off with something, and <laughs> that is that in my way. Is in your way. Oh, and oh, he oh, just oh, woke oh, up. Oh, oh no. no! Get him! Call him! Call him! Run! 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 run. No, nah, he might he might trip. He's he's, gonna, he's slow. Let's see. Oh, Let's oh, see. He's leaving you alone. All right. All right. You're lucky. Cool. You're lucky there. I I thought that guy was going to. Ah, Sam got one too. This is over. Crap. Yeah, I, I should have attacked Sam. Uh, and that's the yeah. interesting thing too is you have to constantly be aware of what the other team is doing. Um, yeah. Also, the the start of this match uh, is a lot like a, an RTS game where it's all about resources and building Absolutely. up numbers quickly. Like there's a you Although know. I got Zerg rushed in the last game. <laughs> I was watching a match with, between the two of you earlier where I think Jose, you just focused immediately on getting things. There we go. Yep. Sam, I shall. Sam is the victor. Uh, we'll all try right. To show you guys one more stage. Oh, there's all oh, the. We shook good hands good afterwards. Good I don't know if you guys know friends. this, but like Jose is the least competitive person on the face of the earth. <laughs> so after <laughs> every game, he thanks you. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, it's okay. He's so nice. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's great playing with him. Unlike, although I get a little competitive, I'm also uh, I don't care about losing. Yeah. <laughs> unless, so it's, the, unless it's somebody I, I know very well. Uh, yeah. So Rich it. was you were talking about though the macaroon battle we had. So the the, yeah. the victory condition of a macaroon really changes the way you play a map. So do you want to yeah. do that in a new area then? Yeah. yeah try, even, sure. Even Let's footage. do this new area and turn on the vac macaroon there. Yeah. And then give your guys. Uh, turn on the macaroon. This is the first time anybody's ever said that. Yeah. <laughs> Go to number of Pikmin and give you guys like oh a little bit extra, like 10 or... Maybe, oh, boy. Maybe, maybe not that many. <laughs> oh I like boy. that one person that could set these because this could get out of hand. Less yeah, there. just start with like hey, 15. Hey, hey, hey. Start with like 15 or something. So no, you no, got, 25. Are you going to do 25? Okay, this is going to be a war. Oh, this is Jesus. Be a war. It might end it fast. So we were just talking about resources and trying to build up your resources from the get-go. Well, now you guys have a lot. So now here's your layout, guys. Retrieve your victory macaroon. So we're basically Deal. looking at a... Uh, again, On top of bingo. I mean, honestly, this map is actually fairly similar to the last map. Three main areas. Uh, Jose and Sam are starting on separate areas. All of the fruit, just to give you guys kind of an idea, are located on little isolated uh, caves or small paths that branch off of each of the three main areas. So when you guys are looking around, they're off on little tunnels. There's in little tunnels on the left, or the perimeters, kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along the perimeter, there's little paths off there that have everything. So it looks like... Well, see, now actually... So, Jose, I actually can see all of your Pikmin represented as red little dots, so I'm not actually sure what this thing was doing last time. So you've actually got a lot of idle Pikmin, Jose. I do? Yeah, get them in gear. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. There you go, there you go. All right. Why right. um, are they a few idle? more. Great. Uh, he it. just isn't giving them anything to Interesting do. is that the fastest point between both bases is filled with enemies. Yes. Uh, if you're looking on the right side of the screen, you'd yes. have to go through that. And you can actually see them on the gamepad. They're just little sort of pulsing green dots. Um, and yes, actually, you're correct, Jose. Where you just were is a whole bunch of them. And uh, here's where you are right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunch of little maggot type things or something. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like, well, Sam, what are you trying to go for here? You are just harvesting Pikmin and getting ready. This is going to be, this is going to get, this is going to get crazy in a minute. Say, what are you doing? Are you uh, doing? I'm also building up numbers and okay. getting ready. 
see, for something. You guys each have quite a few things right now. Um, it's actually that, almost that, neck and neck on resources Jose, too. That plum is actually pretty close uh, to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like Sam's coming back with some sort of uh, nectarine type thing. I'm not so sure what that is. is that a yeah, I don't know what that is either. I got a cherry in my area. Did that just spawn? A what? I got a cherry in my area. I don't know I, if it just They might or not. spawn. They might spawn. So now Sam's little dial is spinning around there. And I have no idea what that is. Sam, hit, your, hit the down button on your D-pad. Oh, know. yeah, that dial up there. Yeah, What's I don't even about? know what that... What is that bouncy thing? I don't even know. I Press press the D-pad down and see. But, but that'll happens. launch my cherry, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, I just... I want to know what it does. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a lot of buttons on here that I'm just not familiar with, like whatever that purple thing is next to whatever you got yeah. there. All right, so now it looks like... Let's see, you get... It's funny, we turned on the macaroon condition, and yet nobody is really fighting each other or... or this this layout's a little this. confusing, I think is why. Yeah, it is one. a little bit. Plus, like, actually... there's a separate winning condition, right? And, like, we could potentially... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys can, I mean, just because you have the macaroon turned on doesn't mean anything. You guys can still get Bingo and win just the same. Um, although Sam, see, so Sam has, see, the funny thing is the game says you're one away, but you can't because you can't get the orange because Jose got it. Jose is actually, Attacking. Well, I don't know what that grub thing is. I don't even know where you go for the grub. Oh, there goes Jose. No, no, no. Going for that macaroon, Sam. Damn it. A lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. But see, this is in Sam's backyard. So we are in, I'm Look in trouble. It. Look at this, though. There's just little battles and little corpses and ghosts <laughs> just floating up everywhere. Jose, I think this is turning into a massacre. Yeah, it uh, is. This is not he always does well this. It's like Jose, his way. Still, so, Jose, you... Yeah. I'm trying to pick up whoever's kind of sitting around. Jose, you got a lot of idle guys right underneath Sam's. Uh, Whoa, I got warped back. That's what that did then. Ah, yeah, I just, okay. it was funny because I was watching on the gamepad and I just saw your little character just mm -hmm. jump. So it yeah, just yeah. pulls you away from your pick. Oh, no. oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Come on, take it, take it, take it. What happened? Oh, Jose, you, have a so lot you of warped idle it guys. back, Sam. He so warped it back? Yeah, it just warped back to his area. Oh. Interesting. So Whoa. it looks like he's able to just teleport things. That pretty yep. much that's what that does. So where are my Pikmin right now? Help me out. They're all what dead. Are... They're all <laughs> yeah. dead. You have a lot of Pikmin at your home base, Jose. Okay. Going uh, over there now. Looks like you might have a couple. Interesting that are to in note too. Base. When you're under attack by a Pikmin, you can't throw a Pikmin. To, like you have to shake. Yeah, you have off to shake them off. The right, one right. Yeah, you got to shake the nunchuck, uh, the, the, the stick. Yeah. I don't know if you guys you've been noticing, but when your Pikmin die, they go back to base. Yeah, I, I have seen that. And also, have you had more than 46 Pikmin? Because I brought some fruit back. Like, I brought More that huge orange back early. I didn't get anything actually, for like it. Maybe a limit or something like that. Maybe. I, I wonder if there's a cap of 100 total, maybe yeah. up to 50. Again, we're charge. not entirely sure, so, yeah. you know, unfortunately, we'll probably know uh -oh. soon. Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, this, this is going to get totally... ugly. Uh, one of the things you can do that neither of you guys are. Oh, oh you jerk. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> nice. Um, one of the things that neither of the guys are using, but that I've found really effective in story mode, is the target and rush. Uh, so you can charge. You can actually tell your Pikmin to charge, basically. I'm lost. When you have your cursor over something and you hold down Z and then you shake the nunchuck, you'll basically just charge and destroy everything. I oh, mean, they're they're getting away with murder right here, Jose. Oh, I've uh, noticed. Although those ball barbs, I think, are totally. Uh, I think you're gonna have to play yeah, this last fight. Yeah, my reinforcements. I left them oh, here. I think. I think Sam, Sam is this. crushing it right Sam's now. Come on, come on, come on. You can oh, get him. You can oh, get him. Oh. And we're not. <laughs> and we're not getting anywhere, folks. There it is. Oh, there man. it is. Uh, all right. So two out of three. You already won. Just from playing. Yeah. Is. Yeah. All so right. we should probably leave it at this for the yeah, I, think so. I mean, I, I want I, crushing I, defeat. I know Jose would win the next round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, curious to see what the next round is. But it's is. crazy because it, rather than having to deal with your bingo card, Sam, which is looking grim because you've got three things X'd out, you just went straight for the uh, for the macaroon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was I could have I, I was going for bingo at first. Yeah, like, yeah. I could have yeah. finished bingo. It's here. just interesting because but without the gamepad like right at my my fingertips, it was, I couldn't hard. see the map. So and sure. that, that area was really confusing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I couldn't yeah. find your base. I went out before <laughs> yeah. until you came over, lost your guys, and then I followed you back. <laughs> over. <laughs> and then when I used those, like I gathered some cherries and like mm -hmm. man, yeah. like it, once you know what those do, yes. which I don't. 
Yeah. I was yeah. randomly using those. I yeah. didn't see what happened. You're like, oh man, like I didn't yeah. really see what happened. You then. warped me back away from the fight. Away so you took the, the macaron yeah. and then you, you got yeah. rid of you me, also and warped then that a bunch was of it. His Pikmin out. Like yeah. I, yeah. I was watching yeah. it. So so it was really smart. probably a coincidence thing because it seems like a wheel of fortune. So. Yeah. yeah. And the is. maps it are is. symmetrical, at least the ones we've played in the office yep. so far. And there's a lot of like the resource game is super important. Um, yeah, no, this is this uh -huh. is really interesting. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. So we got any match? Interesting. So, all right, guys. Like so sandbox. thanks for watching. Saw two ping bingo battles. Uh, stay tuned, IGM. We're going to be doing more on Pikmin Three. We, you know, you've seen the review, but we'll be doing plenty more. Games out August fourth uh, here in the states, and it's actually due out. I think what tomorrow over in Europe. So yeah. uh, some of you guys will actually be so fly to Europe, tomorrow. play Pikmin. There you go. Let us know what you think. In the yeah, comments. no problem. It's only <laughs> they'll only be like an eight hundred dollar game at that point. Yeah, have fun mm. with this first major first party Nintendo game for yeah. Wii U. It's great. Absolutely. There All you right. go. We'll Cheers. see you guys soon. Thank <laughs> you.